guys, Gary G back again with another video. Thank you for coming back. Today I'm gonna answer a bunch of questions about my pressure washer hose reel. This reel right there has caused so much trouble and has also made a lot of people happy. But I'm gonna talk about the most common mistakes and things that you need to make sure that you pay attention to if you want this to work out. So let's go. All right, here we go. If you take anything away from this video, have it be this. This is the most important step. Make sure when you have your original air hose like this, that you pull it all the way out, all the way out until the hose is completely out. That is the first step. If you don't do this, this entire process is not gonna work for you. Once you have this thing pulled out all the way, that's when you're gonna disconnect the hose from here. You're gonna disconnect your original hose. You're gonna pull that off. Now that this is pulled all the way out, it's ready to receive a return amount of 50 feet of hose. That's the most important step. This fitting right here, that's gonna be replaced. So you take off the original hose. The hose is gonna be connected into here. You may have to heat it up because it has red um, thread lock. Pull that off. You're gonna put this fitting on here. Everything's linked in the description. You're gonna put this fitting on here. You're gonna put this fitting on here that allows you to receive a male pressure washer whip that goes to your pressure washer right there. After you do that, this is your third part. You only need three parts to do this. Remember, first part right here, second part here, third part is your whip. Once you get all of those hooked up on the side, then you can go ahead and connect your hose through here. If you're running an Uber Flex, you're gonna have to bend this out like I showed for this to fit through. If not, you might be able to get it through. And then you literally just feed the hose through here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna feed the end of the hose through here, around, into here. And then at that point, it'll retract all the way. All 50 feet will retract, I promise you. Just like that. Another frequently asked question, can I use a 3 8 hose with this? Yes, of course. Because this air hose that came with it is three eighths. This is three eighths. Uber Flex hoses are a quarter inch, so they're gonna be thinner. As you can see, they are thinner. So yes, you can run a three eighths hose. I will say this, a quarter inch hose is much easier to manage. It's lighter, you can throw it around on the ground better. So I would recommend that you go with a quarter inch hose. Next common mistake, can I use it with a gas pressure washer? I would not recommend it. You know, there's people on there that have called me crazy. There's people on YouTube that have said that I'm gonna hurt somebody. I'm not gonna hurt anybody because I use it with an electric pressure washer. And I said that in the video, you need to use this with electric pressure washer. People will tell you that it's only rated for 200 PSI and that is incorrect. It's just the hose they're talking about. They don't even have a pressure rating for the actual fittings on the reel. If they do, correct me, put a link there for everybody to learn. I have a friend who hooked it up to a gas pressure washer. It blew the seal three times. Um, I'm running about 1200 PSI. I wouldn't even go higher than about 1500 if you want to use this. So I would recommend using this with an electric pressure washer, not a gas pressure washer. Another concern that people have had is that it leaks from here. The only time it leaks for me is when I release the pressure. And right now it might not even leak. But once I release the pressure, that's when I get leaks here. And that's normal because there's two pressure fittings in here. When you release the pressure, obviously the water's gonna come out. So that's not a big deal. If it's leaking from here or here or here where the hose connects, then you got a problem. So as I stated before, this is an excellent upgrade to your truck setup. Um, I've seen people do it in cars. I've seen people use this in trailers. I've seen people use it anywhere. It's just an excellent uh, addition to your electric pressure washer setup. Remember that electric pressure washer. Don't use a gas unit. It's not going to work for that. If you want a gas unit, you're going to have to really upgrade to the uh, Cox reel. You're going to have to spend about 500 bucks. That's just the way it is. Okay. So that's it. That's everything I wanted to say about the reel and my truck bed there. I love this thing. It's one of my favorite upgrades. Um, it actually is my favorite upgrade that I've done to my entire setup since the day I started. Make sure you follow those rules listen to the videos there's really a problem with retention people don't like to watch through videos so i get comments all the time that can be answered just by listening to the video a little bit longer so if you really want to learn how to do something on youtube you need to invest in the time to watch the video okay the creator made the video with all the information in it for you to watch make sure you watch this entire video make sure you watch the entire video when i first set it up 
anything that you do on YouTube, make sure you watch the whole video. There's a reason why they make it eight minutes long instead of five or 15 minutes long instead of eight. All right, that's it. I'm all done. I just got done detailing this truck that I see weekly. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. I got another vehicle to get to. Thank you guys for coming back to another video. I appreciate you guys all my Stay Slick fam. You guys have a good one, right? Peace. Stay slick. Let's get it.